Hi kids! Isang matatag na araw. I'm Sir Noy and welcome to Mat Bilang. In this video, you will learn how to find the perimeter of quadrilaterals that are not squares or rectangles. But first, let's have a drill! About addition. Ready? 7 plus 4. Eleven. Two plus eight. Ten. Eight plus five. Thirteen. And nine plus nine. Eighteen. Very good! Let's have a review! In your past lessons, what are the kinds of quadrilaterals? The kinds of quadrilaterals are square, rectangle, parallelogram, trapezoid, and rhombus. Very good, kids! Let's now find the perimeter of quadrilaterals that are not squares or rectangles. Which means, we are going to find the perimeter of parallelogram, trapezoid, and rhombus. Let's have this story problem. The 4th grade class of Surinoy is planning to build a new fence around their school garden, which is shaped like a parallelogram. They want to make sure they have enough fencing to go all the way around the garden. The longer side of the garden measures 12 meters, and the shorter side measures 8 meters. What is the total length of the fence they need to buy? What is asked in the problem? What are the given facts that can help you solve the problem? How many meters of fencing does a class need to buy to go all the way around the garden? But first, let us know what is a perimeter. A perimeter is a distance around a closed plane figure. It is also defined as the total length of a closed plane figure. The perimeter of a closed figure is determined by adding the length of all the sides enclosing the shape. For example, each side of a square is 10 meters. You will just add these sides to get the perimeter. 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 or 4 times 10 meters gives you 40 meters. The rectangle has 4 sides. You will just add all the sides of a rectangle. 10 meters plus 5 plus 10 plus 5. Or 2 times 10 plus 5. 10 plus 5 is 15. 2 times 15 is 30 meters. Let's go back to the story problem. To solve the given problem, we need to find the total length of the fencing required to go around the garden, which is the perimeter of the parallelogram. And to solve the given problem, we have to follow the steps. Let's use a gonna method. A. Ask. What is asked in the problem? The problem is asking for the total length of the fence they need to buy. G. Forgiven. What are the given facts? This includes the shape of a plane figure and the numbers given. The garden is shaped like a parallelogram. The longer side of the garden measures 12 meters and the shorter side of the garden measures 8 meters. O for operation. What operation should be used? This means how will we solve the given numbers? How do we solve the perimeter of a parallelogram? Since perimeter is adding all the sides, that means we're gonna use addition. This is the formula of the perimeter of a parallelogram. P equals A plus B plus A plus B. Since the parallelogram has two parallel sides, we will shorten and form the final formula for the perimeter of a parallelogram. That means multiplication can be used as the operation to solve the perimeter of a parallelogram. So, 
the formula of the perimeter of a parallelogram is P equals to times A plus B. And for number sentence, what is the number sentence? We will just change the letters in the formula by the given numbers. P equals to times A plus B. So P equals to times 12 meters plus 8 meters. And A is for the answer. Let's solve this problem. So P equals to times 12 meters plus 8 meters. And 12 plus 8 is 20 meters. So P equals 2 times 20 gives you 40 meters. So the answer, the class needs to buy 40 meters of fencing to go all the way around the garden. Let's have the second story problem. The students at Greenwood Elementary School are excited about their new playground area, which is a shape like a trapezoid. The playground has two parallel sides. The longer side, called the base, measures 15 meters. And the shorter side, called the top, measures 10 meters. The two non-parallel sides, called the legs, measure 8 meters and 12 meters respectively. How many meters of fencing do the students need to buy to go all the way around the playground? To set up a fence around the playground, the school needs to know the total length of the fence required. These are the measurements of the sides of a trapezoid. And to solve for the perimeter of a trapezoid, let's follow again a Gona method. What is asked in the problem? In this problem, we are looking for the total length of the fence required. What are the given facts? The problem says, the playground is shaped like a trapezoid. The longer parallel side measures 20 meters. The shorter side measures 10 meters. One of the non-parallel sides measures 8 meters. And the other non-parallel side measures 12 meters. So these are the given facts. What operation should be used? To solve these given facts, we will use addition. The formula of the perimeter of a trapezoid is P equals A plus B plus C plus D. What is the number sentence? We will use the formula and change the letters by the given numbers. From P equals A plus B plus C plus D to P equals 15 meters plus 10 meters plus 12 meters plus 8 meters. Let's now answer. And the sum of all the sides of the trapezoid is 45 meters. So, the students need to buy 45 meters of the fencing to go all the way around the playground. Let's now have the third story problem. The fourth grade students are excited to make kites for their outdoor activities. They decide to make a kite in the shape of a rhombus. To ensure that the kite flies well, they need to measure the length of the string required to outline the entire kite. Each side of the rhombus-shaped kite measures 5 meters. How many meters of string do the students need to outline the entire kite? Let's use a Gona method to find the perimeter of the rhombus. What is asked in the problem? The students need to find the total length of strings required. What are the given facts? The kite is shaped like a rhombus. That means the sides of a rhombus are all equal. Each side measures 5 meters. What operation should be used? We will use multiplication. And the formula to find the perimeter of a rhombus is P equals 4 times S. S means sides. And what is the number sentence? P equals 4 times S. We will just change the letter S to the given number. 5 meters. So P equals 4 times 5 meters. What is the answer? So 4 times 5 meters gives you 20 meters. So the students need 20 meters of string to outline the entire kite. Let's try! 
Let's find the perimeter of the given figures. Let's find the perimeter of a parallelogram. Let's have the formula. P equals 2 times A plus B. Let's change the letters. P equals 2 times 13 meters plus 7 meters. 13 meters plus 7 equals 20 meters. So, 20 meters times 2 is 40 meters. Let's find the perimeter of this trapezoid. Let's have the formula. P equals A plus B plus C plus D. Let's change the letters. So, P equals 15 centimeters plus 11 centimeters plus 8 centimeters plus 8 centimeters. Let's add all these given numbers. So, P equals 42 centimeters. How about this rhombus? Having the equal sides of 7 centimeters. The formula, P equals 4 times S. We will just change S to the given number, 7. So, P equals 4 times 7 centimeters. 4 times 7 is 28 centimeters. Activity time! Find the perimeter of each plane figure. Time's up! Let's check your work! Number 1. The perimeter of this rhombus is 36 centimeters. Number 2. The perimeter of this parallelogram is 48 meters. Number 3. The perimeter of this rhombus is 44 centimeters. Number 4. The perimeter of this parallelogram is 70 meters. And number 5. The perimeter of this trapezoid is 45 centimeters. Again! What is a perimeter? How to find the perimeter? To find the perimeter of a shape, you need to add up the lengths of all the sides. Always remember, you have to memorize the formula for you to be able to find the perimeter of each plane figure. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and like my Facebook page. Happy learning!